Hi, dog parents and future dog parents. My name is Patty, and on this channel, we discuss dogs. Why dogs? Why not? They're amazing. So one day I was walking my dog, and I saw this cat being chased by a dog. And I hurried up and picked up my dog because my dog is smaller than a cat. And then the cat ran up the tree. And behind it, the dog ran up the tree. I have never seen a dog run up a tree. I have heard that they can do it if they're very determined, but I have never seen that happen before. And what he did, he ended up grabbing the cat, pulled the cat down to the ground, killed the cat immediately, and he took off running. I was so hurt by this to, to witness this. I was so sad. The reason why, because I knew the cat. The cat name was Tilly. And I knew the dog, the dog name was Bono. I had to go to Tilly's house and tell them that their cat was killed by a dog. And so when I did, they were just devastated and I guided them to where Tilly's corpse was. And they asked me, do you know what dog did this? I said, no. Now, the reason why I said no was because of this. I feel that cat owners that allow their cats to run free on the street are gambling with their cat's lives because they know that their cat can be hit by a car or destroyed by a dog. And yet they still allow their cat to go out. On the other hand, Bono's owner, the dog owner, he had well intentions of having his dog confined. It's just that his dog was clever enough to escape. Now, when I was a little girl, we had two cats named uh, Jack and Jill. They were two Siamese cats. They were beautiful. Jill was running across the street and Jill got hit by a car and died. And it was very sad in the house. It was, we were all just grieving for our cat. My mom said this, and I will always remember this, that she said, even though the driver hit our cat and killed our cat, she said, I am partially to blame. Why? Because I allow my, our cats to run free. And that always resonated in my mind. And I just couldn't understand why don't cats, owners walk their cats like how dog owners walk their dogs on a leash. I only know two cat owners that walk their dog on a leash. The rest either let their cat run free or they are confined at all times inside the house. And so I said to myself, okay, Tilly, bless her heart, she is now dead. I didn't want there to be two deaths with Bono being killed or put down. So that's why I chose not to tell them. But I did go over Bono's house and I let him know that his dog, Bono, killed Tilly the cat and um, I told him listen I'm, I'm not going to tell I didn't tell them that your dog killed the cat and I'm going to leave it up to you if you want to tell you can tell but I'll leave that up to you and I had to tell him that his dog was was running west so where to retrieve his dog or which direction to <laughs> retrieve his dog but then at the same time in the same breath I said, but if your dog ever attacks my dog, your dog will be put down. I will demand your dog to be put down. So when you retrieve your dog, I hope that you secure your backyard very good because this is my neighborhood too and I like walking my dog on our street. Take heed to what I'm saying to you. 
because it won't go as easy as it's going today. So people, things are not always black and white. They're not always black and white. So what would you have done? Would you have told Tilly, Tilly's owner that Bono killed their cat? Or would you have done the same thing I did? Please write in the comments down below. Like and subscribe. And tell your dog I said hi. Bye.